For the last month or so, we've been on Thursdays thinking through the book of Ephesians and Paul's letter to the Ephesian brethren. And we've talked about how uh, Paul reminds them and us in the first few chapters about how we are saved by the grace of God. And in the, in the last few chapters of the book of Ephesians, then Paul shows us what that means for our lives and how we are to be a new person. We are to be uh, living a life that is worthy of the calling of God to which God has called us with. And he then touched on various things in chapters 4 and 5 and even in chapter 6 and all, all areas of life and how God has a plan. God has a design for us uh, to live a life that is pleasing to Him, um, a life that He has called us to, a life out of sin, a life to, to give glory to Him. And so now, Finally, as we come to the, to, the end, to the end of the book of Ephesians, Paul has some instructions here for them to really think about this fight we're in. That we are in a battle, we are in a fight, a spiritual war. We are fighting for our souls. Uh, we are fighting against sin. We're fighting against Satan and all the evil forces that Satan has. We... This battle that we are in is, as Christians is not a physical one in the sense of the physical battles we see going on in the world today all of the time, but a spiritual one. And that, that's what he's going to remind us of in chapter 6. But also, from that, he does play on the imagery of having protection, of the, the thing that when all military forces you know, go out to battle, and this has been going on forever and ever, amen, that they understand how armor protection is important, that as they're going out to fight, even our military today has protection, uh, protections to some extent, and um, that's, that's the imagery that Paul plays on beginning in chapter 6, verse 10, when he is going to talk to us about putting on the armor of God so that we can stand strong, stand firm in this fight against Satan and so that we don't get defeated by Satan. And so he begins in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I think that's important. Again, our strength comes from God. The power is in God. So if we are wanting to be strong and to win this spiritual battle, then we need God. We need the Lord. We need his power. We need his strength. We need his guidance. We need his armor. As he then says, verse 11, put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil or the schemes of of the devil. The devil is fighting against us. He has a plan. The devil has his tricks. He has his schemes. He has, uh, he, he knows what our temptations are. He knows what, how to, to get at us spiritually and the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. So Paul says we've got to put on the armor of God, the whole armor of God. We can't just have parts and pieces. I mean, if you were to go fight into a battle, are you only going to want part of your armor? Are you only going to want pieces here and there of your armor? Are you going to want the whole thing to be as protected as you possibly can? So Paul says we are to put on the whole armor of God so that we can, with God, with his strength, his power, we can stand against Satan. We can win the spiritual battles because of God, because of God's strength, because of the armor of God. Paul reminds us in verse 12 that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. This is not a physical battle, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. This is a spiritual battle against the spiritual forces of evil. And we are literally fighting for our lives, fighting for our souls against Satan. And we're either going to get in the fight and and fight against Satan, but if we don't fight, then we're only making ourselves vulnerable to Satan and we're giving in to Satan, really. We only have two choices. You either fight against Satan or you don't. And we need to put on this armor of God 
to fight against the devil. So what is this armor of God? I love how Paul illustrates this and the pieces of the armor and applying these spiritual parts to it of what we need in the armor of God. He says, verse 13, Therefore take up the whole armor of God. Again, he says to take up all of it so that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. So when we're fighting these battles, when we're being faced with temptations and trials and tra challenges, we will be able to stand with the armor of God and having done all to stand. So stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having the belt of truth. We've got to have the truth, the truth of God. That's what we are to live by. Because Satan's going to come at us with all kinds of lies and deceptions and all kinds of things. So we need to have the truth of God. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness. Living in righteousness for God. Which is contrary to and against all that is unrighteous. All that is sinful. We are to have the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness that will guard our hearts and minds. That we will live by the truth of God in his righteousness. Fighting against the sins of this world. Having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Being ready. Ready in the gospel. Living it in our own lives. And being ready to defend the gospel. Ready to share the gospel. The gospel of peace with God. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. The way we stand up, the way we guard ourselves and protect ourselves in truth and in righteousness and in the gospel is by our faith. Paul pictures our faith as a shield. Our faith in God is what will block the, the arrows of Satan as Satan is trying to get at us. It is, it is through our faith in Jesus, our faith in God, that will protect us. Like if we were to hold a shield and block ourselves, by faith we can block whatever Satan throws at us. And then take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation, the hope of salvation. As a helmet protects the head, the brain, the mind. So this helmet of salvation, we are to have that hope, that assurance of the promise of salvation that God has given to us. And the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. What we fight with is the sword of the Spirit, he says, which is the Word of God. We've got to have the Bible, got to have the Gospel. It is with the gospel, it is with the word of God that we fight against sin, we fight against um, false teachings and things of this world. And in it all, verse 18, he says, praying, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Through it all and in it all, we need to pray. I, I've heard it said that prayer is the, the cord that binds all the armor together, holds it all together. Praying to God, relying on God, trusting in God, and persevering in a battle, in a fight. It's hard. It's going to take a lot of energy. It's not always going to be easy. We're going to have to persevere, endure, push on, fight on. Just like in any battle when soldiers get weary and tired, and but they're called to push on. They're called to keep fighting, not give up. And that's why we need to persevere with all prayer and supplications and be mindful of all of the saints. Being mindful of all of our brethren that we're in this fight together. We're in this battle together. We are in the army of God. We are his soldiers and we are to be mindful of our fellow soldiers. Pray for one another, help one another, encourage one another. And then Paul, yes, even Paul, asks for prayers in verse 19. Paul says to pray for me that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. It is going to take boldness, courage to fight this fight. It is going to take courage and boldness 
It is going to take determination and diligence to fight against temptation and sin, to take the gospel and the word of God into the world, to share it, to teach it, to defend it, to fight against the false teachings and ideas of the world. It's not always easy. Even Paul asked for prayers, for boldness, for courage, and we're going to need that. I need that. Because this fight is not always easy, and sometimes it's going to get hard and scary. But we've got to keep fighting. We've got to keep going. We cannot give up. And so Paul here at the end of his letter, this is kind of after he has given all these instructions to the brethren, here's this, this kind of battle cry, if you will. He's calling the brethren to take up the armor of God, put on the whole armor of God. Let's be brave and strong and let's, let's fight this fight, this spiritual battle against Satan, against sin, with truth, with righteousness, with the gospel, with the word of God, with faith, with prayer, with perseverance, with boldness. Let's fight. Don't give up. Don't become weary. Encourage one another. Help one another. If you see one of your brethren weary, from the fight, encourage them, pick them up, help them forward. Fight on. Fight the good fight of faith, as Paul calls it elsewhere. Fight the good fight of faith. But in order to do that, we've got to put on the armor of God. And then he gives some final words there at the end of his letter. When he talks about, and I love this, image, or this expression of love and fellowship, he says, but that you may also know my affairs and how I am doing. Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will make all things known to you, whom I have sent to you for this very purpose, that you may know our affairs and that he may comfort your hearts. We need that. We need this brotherhood. We need this. Uh, we're soldiers. We need to be mindful of one another, encouraging one another. And so finally he says, peace to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Peace and love and faith. Grace be with all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity, a never-ending love. So if we love the Lord, if we love God, let's get out there, put on the armor of God, fight this fight, give our lives to the Lord. So that one day we can be with him in heaven. God has given all for us and now we need to give all for him. Fight the good fight of faith. Put on the whole armor of God. And let's all stand together against Satan and the evils of this world. God bless.